No, I both had the, they had the idea that you know, I should stay in a given university only five years, and I stayed, I mean, after being in Europe, um, I went to Illinois and was there for five years, and I went to Columbia, was there for five years. Then I was at Harvard for five years. And then I actually moved to Paris. Uh, and uh, my feeling was that it was very good to get a new environment, to start new problems, and completely different problems, like the first uh, five years uh, at the University of Illinois, you know, I mentioned that I developed this equation. I was focused on nuclear magnetic resonance, which was a new technique in chemistry, and I felt that the, the theoretical approaches could give insights that people didn't have because it wasn't sort of worked out. And then when I went to Columbia, I started working on chemical reactions. And when I went to Harvard, I started working on biological systems. And uh, I think that, well, having a new environment and starting something new makes it most likely, or more likely, maybe the fair answer, that you'll really discover something. And, you know, I, for many, I'd get invited to go to meetings that discuss, you know, what I'd sort of stopped doing. And, you know, and the people are doing interesting things. But for me, I sort of have the feeling, yes, I know what's going on, and it doesn't have the same excitement. Of course, being a professor, having students, you can still be sort of working in the old area so you don't sort of suddenly stop publishing and people wonder what's going on while you're developing ideas as to what to do in the new. But I think it's very, if you want to continue to be creative, you have to go into something that you don't understand. Otherwise, at least for me, it isn't very exciting.